turnovers, and you know they uh, that was it tonight. You know, they had 33 points off our 19 turnovers, and you know that's from the beginning, from the beginning of the game. So you know, can't play from behind like that. They made 19 threes, and I think they shot 57. percent Is that just their night, or do you, do you need to defend the three better as a team? A little bit of both. Um, a little bit of both. Um, but it started off with two open threes for Bajanovic to start the game, and uh, everything else kind of just trickled down from there. Seemed like you were um, trying to make some plays on offense uh, on, in the third quarter. Was there a point after halftime where you thought you could have maybe even seized a little bit of that momentum back? Uh, not if you don't get stops. Uh, we started off um, in the first po first po possession of the third quarter. I thought it was a uh, could have been you know, a tough call for us. We wanted to try to get stops right out of halftime, and uh, Miles Turner shot a fadeaway. We got a tough call on, on Doe, and you know we kind of made a little run, but you know every shot you know they make it, it you know it hurts when you're down that much. You know, they're playing so well and they're in such, such, such a rhythm. How were you inspired with team spirit throughout the game? Um, I mean, they hit us. And, uh, you know, that, that first game, you know, flying cross country, it looked like it had a lot to do with it. But, you know, we didn't come out with the defensive mentality that we that we did last time we played them in Staples. And uh, they made us pay for it. I think all the uh, external stuff, the trade deadline, the, the, the thing in the locker room the other night, do you think that has affected the psyche of this group? Um... I don't know. I mean, obviously, we, we, we have a lot of guys that have been in, in trade talks the last couple of weeks and that's never been in that position before. So you have to ask those guys and um, you know, how they're dealing with it. I don't I, I can't you can't really ask me. I've never you know, been a part of that, but I've been a part of teammates, um, you know, but you know, I, I know it has to be tough on, on a lot of our guys, especially our young guys. Um, you know, right now, they've just never been a part of it. And, um, you know, they're hearing it every single day. And I know that um, worst thing that, that you can do right now is be on social media and I know all young guys love social media so um, you know that, that definitely can't help there was a chance tonight it that was that that there was a chance tonight that was LeBron's gonna trade you to Kuzma and Ingram yeah. um, how sensitive are you to that to that notion and, yeah. and do that's, you just, feel that's just fans being fans and uh, if you let that bother you I, you know you're in the you're in the wrong sport um, you know fans are gonna be fans I've listen I've heard it all you know I've I've been in uh rival games pretty much my whole life since I started playing ball, so the things I've heard is uh, way worse than, than, than that. So. Does it bother your teammates to avoid social media right now? Um, figure, that, figure that on their own. I mean, yeah. I think, uh, you know, if it, if it bothers you, if it bothers you, then yes. If it bothers you, then yes. If not, then don't, don't worry about it. I mean, you know, for me, I think uh, when I was younger and you know, there was a lot of things that were said about me as far as uh, you know the way I approach the game or the way I play the game or, or my championship level. Um, could I get to a championship level? Could I be a champion and my everyone win at the highest level? Um, that was the way to escape it. I just stopped. I stopped listening. Um, I stopped watching it. You know, and uh, I just focus on on just me and, uh, and, and control what I can control. It's, you know, I can't say it's, it's easy for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say, but. Last question, please. How, you surprised how do you compare so. your, your game overall, uh, personally, tonight versus the Clippers game? I know you got the wins for the Clippers. You want to get more of the Clippers. Were you able to do some things? I saw the, the dunk, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I was able to get a dunk. And that um, you know, it means I'm getting better and better. I'm still not um, at 100% with my injury, um, you know, and also with my time. And I had some turnovers. Um, and that's going to come with, uh, you know, my rhythm. And, you know, so. I was able to get up there and, and get it, be a very explosive versus the top shot blocker in our league right now, so that uh, lets me know that I'm on my, on my way to the, you know, you know, to being myself once again. So, <clears throat> you know, every day and every game and you know, and every session of you know rehab and treatment and things of that nature, and, and just being back on the floor with the guys that allow me to get even more and more comfortable with my game.